Greetings friends, Survival Doc here. The purpose of this video is twofold. I'm going to talk about Maine Military Supply and I'm also going to talk about products that I ordered from Maine Military Supply, specifically gas masks and gas mask filters. Maine Military Supply is located online at mainemilitary.com. That's Maine as in the state of Maine, M-A-I-N-E, military.com. I found their prices to be very reasonable. I received my products very quickly and the products that I received were in very good condition and so I have been very happy with them. The only problem I had with my order is there was an item that was missing from my order and I looked on the uh, shipping paper and there's an 800 number on here. I called that 800 number Immediately, I talked to a very nice lady. She was very apologetic, and she said that she would get the missing item in my uh, in the mail to, to to me very quickly. About an hour later, I received an email from UPS notifying me that the item had been shipped. So anybody can make a mistake, and I will not hold it against them that they forgot a, a small item in my order. So it's it's not whether or not you make a mistake it is whether or not you correct your mistake. And uh, so far, it looks like Maine Military Supply is a winner, in my opinion. Now what I will do when I receive this item that was missing from my order, I'll post a little note here on the video letting you know that everything was okay. But so far, they get five star rating, in my opinion. Here's the order I just received from Maine Military Supply. Uh, this is all related to gas masks, or either gas masks or gas mask filters. Now these three items right here are a NATO style gas mask filter. All right, these are sealed in this plastic case and once you uh, cut into this case you cannot reseal it so these are not to be opened uh, until you get ready to use them. Uh, I noticed a funny thing, it has uh, three languages on here. It has German, French, and Spanish, and it doesn't have English on here. Um, but um, I do uh, understand French, and uh, it says, cut here with caution. So what you do is you take your knife and you cut this plastic with caution, being careful not to s scratch your filter, I suppose. Um, and on here it says in French, uh, do not open the case until mobilization of war. Alright, so these are good uh, airtight uh, cases. Uh, by the way, everything that I ordered uh, today is new. It is uh, military surplus, so I mean it, it may be several years old, but I mean it's when I say new, I mean uh, never used. Alright, these uh, specifically are Swiss filters. Uh, Swiss use a NATO style filter. A NATO style filter uses uh, threads that are 40 uh, millimeter threads. I also ordered three of these Finnish uh, filters. These are new. These are wrapped in plastic. Um, the, now the Finnish filter, filters do not use the uh, NATO threads. It uses actually a 60 uh, millimeter thread. And uh, there is an adapter that allows you to use NATO uh, NATO filters on a finished gas mask. And the adapters, I ordered three of the adapters because I ordered three gas masks. And the adapters are what was missing in my order. And they assured me that they'll be sending those out quickly. Alright, these are the finished filters. And what I ordered was three gas masks. And here they are. These are never used. They are um, in great condition. Uh, very nice quality. Heavy, heavy canvas uh, bags that these come in. Okay, in the bag you see the gas mask. Again, these are never used. Nice, nice quality finished gas mask. Also, each gas mask comes with a new filter. And with the finished filters are um, a little bit different because they actually fit on the side. So to put these on, you unscrew this cap here. And 
If you're using a NATO filter, then you just screw an adapter onto here, and then you can screw the NATO filter on the finish gas mask. You just screw it on like that. You pop open this little opening here so that air can get to the filter. And there it is. You can see the inside of the filter. This is um, appears to be very, very uh, high quality. The inside of the filter has this rubber part here that goes over your nose and that way your breath does not fog up your um, eye holes so much. Some uh, gas mask filters have a problem with the um, eyes uh, fogging up. Put this on. This is what it looks like. As you can see, the filter comes out the side. And you might wonder, well, why does it do that? Well, here's the reason. Right here. This filter does not interfere with uh, shooting a rifle one bit. Filters that come out the front will. Now, obviously, this is for a right-handed shooter. And if you are a lefty, you might want to uh, consider a different option. Again, each of these comes with the gas mask, a new filter, and one thing I like about these uh, carrying bags is this little pouch right here and this pouch right here this little pocket this little pocket is perfect for putting the adapters in so when I get my adapters I'm going to put one in each of these pockets and then that way this gas mask will be ready for either the 60 millimeter finish filters or the Swedish Swedish filters are also 60 millimeters or the uh, more standard 60 millimeter NATO gas mask. Now one thing about gas masks, um, gas masks are not a high priority for preppers and survivalists. Uh, it is an item, but basically in my opinion, that that's for the survivalist who already has everything else. I mean, when you take care of your basic needs, your water, your food, clothing, um, buy silver and gold, uh, I don't foresee needing a gas mask, but again, it's the perfect item for the survivalist who has everything. You don't know, there could be a chemical spill if you live close to railroad tracks. Uh, there could be a train crash with a chemical spill, uh, or you could be attacked, of course, from with mustard gas, or, or there are numerous reasons why you might need a gas mask. I, all right, I got these gas masks because they were only $10 a piece. Now prices can change, of course, but currently at Maine Military, these gas masks, new condition with new filters and the nice heavy canvas carrying bag. When you buy three at a time, they are 10, they work, they're $30 for three, so that's $10 for new gas masks new filters, and a really nice carrying bag. You couldn't even buy a, bag, a carrying case like that for $10. And uh, that's what I mean when I say the prices at Maine Military seem to be very reasonable. They have all kinds of items. They even sell certain types of ammunition. I recommend you check them out at MaineMilitary.com and, uh, and see all the items that they have available. Stylish accessories for the survivalist who has everything. This is Survival Doc, reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. Disaster upon disaster.